Half time pie. Have a so. Half time pie. Pass. Two guy Keramoglu. Nakamura. Welcome to a pint and two shots. Coming to you from the G4 podcast studio with part time pundit and average actor Stephen Purden and bringing a wealth of knowledge and questionable patter, it's our no nonsense dafty Chris Toll. Completing our front three, it's the man himself. All the way from the tap end of Stevenson, it's Grado! Welcome to Pain Two Shots. It's a podcast. It's a football podcast. We are live here in the J4 Claim Studio in Wisha. Joining me this morning, we've got Shelsuit Bob to my left, uh, to the right. Crystal, uh, he's off. He's no well. <laughs> he's what? He's, a, he's got a sore shoulder or something like that, you know? Oh, no, shingles. but it's shingles. Shingles. Well, 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 well. The, the word on he this had show. a sore shoulder last week. He had a he, right. I had a sore shoulder last week, and he couldn't see you at his left eye. That's a. <laughs> He died, he died right, isn't that so sure? So sure. <laughs> and now he's got the shingles. So, Toll, uh, wherever you are right now, I know he's he's having a bit of a difficult week, but aren't well in terms of, you can hear from my voice, I've been kind of struggling uh, this week. He's having a difficult week, but he was on the bevy last night. Oh, <laughs> really, say bevy. that? <laughs> See, I've just said it. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm, like grass. Does, I'm, 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 he grassed his cell. How? Put it in the group chat. Ah, right? so he did. He so the shingles are flaring up because <laughs> <laughs> he had a cup of beers. <laughs> <laughs> My shingles are flaring up. <laughs> uh, you know, I had a couple of beers last night and it's made the shingles worse. <laughs> Oh, poor Tom, man. See, that's what you do when you, when you miss an episode. Aye. You be prepared to get a power in. That's why I know, like, because you know I've been threatening all week to take us, aye. Aye. to take aye. the day off because I've been, I've been bust. You sound a bit Barry White. Mm. Barry White S, that voice. Ah, that, is that not good for the radio, but that voice you've got on it? Quite... I quite enjoy listening to Aye. it, but I don't know if it's pissing everybody else off. No. Because it's annoying. I said that, he said that to his like, the other day, because we were going into work. Like, ah, I just don't want to go in, man. I know when I listen to folk and I know well, they sound shite. No, right. As it annoys me. There's, there's, uh, you shouldn't be on air if you if you don't sound good, but do you know what I mean? I've got good great. work ethic, you know, you know that first hand. Aye. But I, was, I mean, Saturday night. Just about quarter past five after that that, that, that Rangers and Livingston game. Oh, we'll get to that. Steph was out bridesmaid shopping I had the win. Mm-hmm. And I literally had to put the pair hanging to her bed mm-hmm. about six o'clock. She usually goes to bed at seven, but I was flawed. I just suddenly started, started getting no well. I had sirloin steaks in the fridge. I had pepper sauce, mushrooms, a full lot. The only thing that I ate that full weekend was two chocolate hobnobs. Mm. The Sunday night, I had a plate of soup and... Monday night I had two spin for a pasta. I've just no been feeling well at all. But you've still I've been grafting, mate. Still, still been grafting, grafting and, I've, and I've been naked. <laughs> <laughs> what you said to me the other day, saying his voice note, and you're like, ah, mate, I'm, you're like, mate I'm, I'm dying, I'm dying. I'm just I'm not feeling good, man. I'm telling you, I don't know if I'm going to phone into the radio, and then I don't know if I'll make the podcast. Then I got a voice note for you this morning, and you said you're going to take it easy at the weekend, and I've got a voice note for you this morning saying you've got <laughs> A celebrity darts night to go to the Gordon Smith. <laughs> <laughs> mate, how, you, how do you... Mate, okay, I'm, Flashley, he's got to be there now. <laughs> right, so I you're, totally forgot all about it. You're not feeling well. And you get to the end of the week and you go, right, I'll get the podcast out of the way. And then you go, oh, man, I forgot I've got a celebrity darts night to go to the Gordon Smith. <laughs> how do you... How do you... Do you look at your diary and go, right, I need to go and fucking milk a cow on Tuesday. I've got... <laughs> I've got Gory Radio on the first day, I've got the podcast, and I'm playing darts with Gordon Smith, the friend. And then I'm wrestling them all night in Aberdeen. <laughs> Are you? You got a hotel, but... No, I'm coming straight here. <laughs> but right. see, to be honest with you, I could be doing that hotel now. But anyway, I have got talk, a celebrity... Talk me through the celebrity darts night with Gordon Smith. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's for a good case, a good charity case. A good case? case. It's, a for, good it's for... Good cause, you <laughs> a good cause. <laughs> it's for this charity case. It's for a good cause. The beatsing obviously affects oh, so is many it for people. Beatson? Ah, I oh, see. Do you know what I mean? Uh, no, it's a great cause. No, it is. But it's winner's day zone, so I think I'll only be there for about half an hour. I was saying, I mean. <laughs> I've, I, I've never actually played a real game of darts, you know what I mean? My father used to have one in his kitchen, I did both. So is it? Is it? <laughs> he did. After, after my mom passed, he bought a dart ball for the kitchen. <laughs> And my dad, my dad's <laughs> <laughs> and he's got a walking stick, man. So you'd be all stunned in the kitchen, man, hobbling out his walking stick, watching that. <laughs> fucking in the kitchen. Fucking holes all the kitchen water. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
So, no, but that's a good cause, but the beats. By the way, and do you, have you ever heard a darts player called Eric Bristol? No, but I tell you what, to tell you a story, but I got uh, I got a guy that wanted to take me on. I to an play, agent to play. Was it to play? No, oh, Jockey Wilson, you're thinking about Wilson, no, right. but this. I met an agent in London years ago. They wanted you to be a darts player. <laughs> no. No, he basically said, he, his big selling point was, I look after two folk. He says, I look I look after somebody in Coronation Street, then it's gone through a bit of bother. And I also managed to get Eric Bristol and I'm a celebrity to get him out of here. That was his two selling points. And he wanted 25% of everything I earned. And then they made a photo about it and he was quite he was quite sleazy with the way he's talk. I mean, I met him in a fucking, I met him in an Ibis in London. <laughs> right, hold on. Right, this guy's an agent in London and always goes to a Cory actor in Eric Bristol aye. and he wants to add grey to it. Aye, aye. And do you want to know, and, and I'm, I'm go- the way he was talking, he was going, I can't really get into the Coronation Street actor, but it turned out it was, was Kev- it? Michael Lavelle. Oh, he played Kevin Webster? Mm-hmm, during yeah, the time oh. where it was quite dodgy and stuff like that. And, uh, I have I tell that story, no. I feel as if I've told that story recently because he's, he's, he was also going like that, he goes, listen, I've got Celebrity Big Brother on the phone for you. They want you, but they've promised me. They've promised you, they'll get you on the normal Big Brother, but they'll rig it so that you can run it. <laughs> the normal Big Brother, and that was his big selling point. What was me. this guy's name? And do you know what? You, I can't remember his name now, but do you know that way I was so under pressure in this mm-hmm. Ibis in London. He's mm-hmm. got a suit on and all that, and he's like, "Sign your life for to me, twenty five percent." I look after Kevin Webster. I go Eric Bristol, and I'm a celebrity. Get me here, and I'll get you to win the normal Big Brother. And I just had to go. I can't do this, mate, and ran away. <laughs> I was like, I can't do this. Is this guy just walking out the contracts? Mm, he was. He pulled everything out. That's re- ready for, for me to sign it. <laughs> I'm not an Ibis, mate. <laughs> an Ibis. Oh, like hardly that. Ibis sitting in my name the house. <laughs> Up the road to your dad, just get a new agent, man. <laughs> Who's he go? Eric Bristol and Michael Lavelle. <laughs> <laughs> Say to your dad, man, get the bookies, man. Get grey on the win by Raw. <laughs> Oh. Dude, that is close. Did I, you, I, I might know this guy's name. But I, I, I don't want to talk about no, him anymore. In case he punched me down because he was a bit of a gangster. He was telling me to do stuff to get myself out there. And I was like, I'm not doing that. It was quite... What, to get like, like, pre- ex- in exposing, the paper, exposing you? He says, it wouldn't be... That old classic, any press is good press. Aye, nah. a bit like old, old Dirty Den with a Aye. finger in the gub kind of carry on this way. He was kind of hinting it. And I thought, nah, I need to, I need, I need to go to here. It's, but, a, it's, it's, a, it's a horrible, horrible sleazy business. Isn't it, nah, really? That's not good, that's not good, man. But where, where anyway. are is the dark sign? Uh, it's somewhere in Paisley, get so... Get a wee plug, get a wee plug. I know, seriously, because by the time I move out, you might... You could maybe get the last five minutes. <laughs> Come see the last five minutes. <laughs> it's uh, it's in Paisley. It's for the Beats and Cancer Charities. I says Gordon Smith's going to be there. Our friend, Gordon Smith. <laughs> my manager. Uh, my manager on the charity matches. Oh, is he? Ah, he manages the team every year. Tell him. So, just tell him you were talking to Stephen Pudden. Oh, mm. He'll know what it means. Well, you know Gordon Smith is for Stevenson. See if you go into a famous residence in Wikipedia, it says <laughs> great old Gordon Smith. Do I, do I tell the story of the pure time we embarrassed uh, ourselves in front of Gordon Smith? Uh, well, you embarrass yourself. <laughs> I've seen Graham last night. <laughs> so, uh, aye, this is, this is for Cal, so Tolkien can hear it, I know if he listens. But, uh, no, no, no Tolkien's bad for listening to the podcast for three weeks. Tolkien's listening for three weeks. For ditting us. Aye, aye, you've ditched us. if you're listening, you're not really listening, mate. You're banned for listening for aye, three weeks. Don't care if your fucking shingles is flared up, man. <laughs> you're banned. Anyway, we bumped into Gordon Smith, so we're about to do a two-show date at the Pavilion, right? We went into Pret. Pret a manger. Pret a manger, getting our usual wee coffees and all that. And we walked out and Gordon Smith. Gordon Smith sitting outside. Gordon Smith sitting outside, man. All right, yeah. A wee bit of that. That's Gordon Smith. So we just <laughs> play cool. Play cool. So we go and talk to Gordon Smith. Hey, Gordon, mate. <laughs> What's happening? And he said he was at some do the night. No, 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 no. We we started talking about. What did we talk about beginning? Just the usual small talk, and then I can't remember. But it, it, he was going to a big awards do with all the football players and all that. Aye. And great one, great one turns in. We got that night. <laughs> I was like, nah, we're not going to that. We've not got that in my diary, have we? Uh, no, he's <laughs> like, we're going to be turning up. And then I was seeing, I was at the Graham Soon, an audience with Graham Soon this night before, and I'm pure playing it like a pure absolute as if I'm in the mass. I was like, ah, I seen Graham last night. <laughs> Free thunder. He's like, I bought with Graham last night. <laughs> I paid my ticket and was sitting in the audience. <laughs> And Gordon uh, Smith must have thought we were a pair of... We got that night, Bob. We got that in our diary. We got that in our diary. Ah, no, we've not got that one. Nah, so we've got a show tonight. We've not got that one, right? Bob, <laughs> tell him I was asking for him. Oh, well, dear, man. He manages our team every year for that uh, suicide prevention thing at Airdrie, and it's... He's a, he's a good guy, man. He's a yes, good guy. Yes. He's a nice guy, but I can't wait to see any videos of you playing darts <laughs> with him, man. Oh, well. But it's because one of the things where I'm maybe good at 
Do you know? Aye. You always think things like that. You know I mean, I've got the physique for it, I know. I was going to say, you get the ball. The old darts player. Aye. aye. Oh, aye. And in fact, I'm talking about Gordon Smith. There's also another guy for Stevenson. Who is this? Do you just like the darts? I do like Rab the Rab Thornton. Side. You said a Rab Thornton. He's for Stevenson. Two of the finest athletes coming out of Stevenson. Great on Rab Thornton. Ah, it's his own yeah. the thing. By the way, shout out to Jamie here. You're Stevenson Loyal. Here we go. There Jamie we go. Wood, Jamie Wood. Aye, Nate remembers in a group chat. I forgot about that man. Sorry, right. Jamie. Right, you want to get to the bit you hate? Uh, I don't, because this is putting me under pressure this week, because it's usually told talking about fitting on that. Oh, right. Right, we'll, we'll, we'll just start, right, with Saturday, right, the early kick-off, right? I feel as if I need to take my jumper off, but I can't, because I've got the T-shirt on oh, underneath it. I'm dare, sweating. Dare, no, dare, no. Dare, dare. No, dare. Just I can't. Off no, I can't. I've got a big plug in my chest in there. <laughs> No, seriously, I have. Do you want me to squeeze it? Hey, you were at Fitbit Saturday. <laughs> <coughs> I was there, mate, I was there. So, Saturday, obviously, the fixtures kicked off at Tyne Castle. It was a very good game. I was watching it in the Blue Room, so I was on the director's box on Saturday. And when Lauren Shanklin scored to make it 2 one hearts, I went to the toilet, and before I went to the toilet, I said to my mate, watch us, Celtic will batter them now. Mm -hmm. Batter them. And what happened? Mm. But I tell you what, it was an exciting game of football to watch. It was, but you always knew Celtic were going to win. Uh, I, I, mm, no, there was I did. See, as soon as, as soon as Hearts went two one up, they collapsed a wee bit. See, see, just the excitement of the VAR. I mean, I, I watched the Hibs and St Johnston game on a Friday night. There was only maybe like one or two this for the times they went back to the camera. But Aye. I've got to say, I was watching it. The Hibs, the Hearts, the Celtic game. What I was getting annoyed about was uh, Andy, Cut no Andy Cameron, Andy Walker. <laughs> He kept going, it's taking far too long. Aye, 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 aye. It's, come on, this is taking far too long. I'm going, the boys, have, it's their first day. <laughs> uh, it was like, uh, they're going to go for a VAR decision, and it was like two seconds. Ah, uh, come on. <laughs> they're taking their time, ain't they, no? I'm going, they're probably in there biffing out, going, right, no, right, re rewind that, right, sort that, right, pause it, pause it there. Is that half side? Have a look at that, is that half side or no? <laughs> Getting rules, out. Aye. <laughs> getting rules on the screen. So I think you've got to give them a bit of, aye, a bit aye, of slack aye. for it being their first weekend. Was there a bit of drama? Was it is it a Hibs game you're talking about? There was drama with VR. Was there drama with the Hibs game? Because I didn't see the game. The I'm trying to remember there was. Was it no? The, the, the very first incident. After four minutes or that something. That was the first Scottish VAR. Was, was that a dive? Martin Boyle dived. That's right. That's right. Aye, aye. But I, I mean, I know what you're saying. It is, but. It's been a big week for VAR in the world, world football, on the globe, basically, even the Champions mm. League kind of Harry Kane, that we'll talk about later, right? But, well, yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, no, I, I, I didn't watch but that. But it's I, I can kind of see where he's coming from. Mm. I don't know you, I can see your point where you're going, it's the first day of the day, it? But it takes, for me personally, it takes the excitement, the euphoria, a football away. And I, I know you were bigging up on Saturday going, I love VAR, this is class. But I don't know, man. It's getting a bit. F it does. It, they take too long with some decisions, mate. I think the day. And it's I think it shows you how. It can it shows up how bad some of the decisions that they, they, they make. Because I mean, see on Saturday, I thought he had a mare. Would you, who was it? Was it Thingley on Saturday? Who was it? What Ibrooks? No, oh. at, at Ten Castle. Who was Tyne it? Castle. Ten Castle. It was the young boy, the young fella. What's his name? Who was man? Ben, Ben's got a Google machine or something. Barry Dallas or something. What's his name? <laughs> Barry Dallas. <laughs> no. <laughs> Who was the referee on Saturday? They're just waiting on Ben. With it was a young fella. It was loads of brow cream. Do you know what? I can't say it takes excitement away because that was... was no, but what I'm saying is... It was an exciting game of football. It was. No, what I'm saying is, for me, there was definitely a penalty to Hearts. Mm -hmm. How he never saw that with his naked eye. Aye. Mm -hmm. Then, for me, that was a penalty. Celtic should have got a penalty as well. In, in the first off. For the Honbo? For the Honbo. Ah, that aye, was clearly aye, a penalty. Aye, 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 I know, I know. But again, it's like, all of our aside, man, say like, just day with the day, all the time, they find a way, and again, I was a bit deflated getting into the game this Saturday, because... Because I, I watched the Hearts and the Celtic game, stuck on Rangers and Livingston, sitting watching the house, and I'm going, I'd rather watch Hearts and the Celtic again. I know, it was, it was brutal. It man. was grim. It was, it was I mean, what, what, what was it like in the, in the, in the stadium? It was just, do you know what, there's just... Greg will maybe agree with me here. At the stadium now, there's just a kind of... Dark cloud. An air of acceptance. This is what we are doing. It's what we, we just kind of... I was in hospitality Saturday night. There was not one person in that lounge that dropped for anything. No. Mm. And even one of the boys that works at Ibrooks, yeah, I don't know his name, you'll know him for kicking about. He's always outside the blue room in the Thornton suite and all that. I was talking to him at half time and he's like, we'll not win this. Mm. Like, we'll not win this. And I said that to my mate. I was sitting there I was going, we're not coming back here. 
I was surprised we even got an equaliser. Honestly, the last five minutes we pushed, but you're going, how are we no starting games like this? Do you know what I mean? How are we no starting games like this? But I'm sick to the back teeth, Graham. I say this every week on this know. podcast. I'm bored talking about Rangers. I think Ben's bored here. Let's talk about Rangers. I think Ben, you see that. Well, come you closer because Toe's not here. So right. yeah, if ben, you want to get, your, get your shit in, get your shit in. He's approaching the <laughs> table. He's at the table with the big boys. Right, oh, he's why I go on camera and that. Oh, oh, oh. He's just kicked. Oh, fuck. Oh, just kicked ben. my hand down, man. Ben. This is, out, man. this is all Toe's fault. I just wanted to ask. I don't know why I pulled camera. I just wanted to ask. Do you think that when Celtic go behind, you just expect them to win? Aye. And then when Rangers go behind, you expect them not to win? Aye. Aye. Mate, a 100%. And it's a, it's a very, it's a bloody good point made, Ben. It's, uh, it's like every, like I said there, when Livy scored, I didn't think we were going to come back and win. I didn't. No. I genuinely didn't. I don't think Andy did, like you said, Greg. We didn't. Do you know what I mean? It's a toll. Toll said I usually take goals off him, but I, I, and I was the first man to say this. Toll, it doesn't work out like that. Whereas right. it doesn't happen. Da- Davy Martindale. Because I'm not the daft. The no, they're not. Davy Martindale was bang on. After mm-hmm. the game, Davy Martindale said. We knew what they were going to do. Mm-hmm. They were going to get the ball wide. But was it like 3,500 crosses Se- into, the, into the box? Seven, I mean, it was ridiculous. 78 crosses and 17 of them landed. What's the, what is the definition of insanity when you keep doing the same thing over and over and over and over and it doesn't work mm-hmm. or something like that? Mm-hmm. That's it. Aye. Cheers, Greco. Aye. After you playing out wide, right? Mm. You get Sakala and Wright on the bench. Yep. Zero nah. pace and that. Aye, and then... I, I like Arfield, but he's not a right winger. He's not a right winger, mate. He's not, and then... Me and my mate were saying this on it, we'll get to the European game later, right? But it's like the thing we do every now and again is go, right, we've spent two point whatever on Matondo, but we'll leave him on the bench because mm-hmm. the boys clearly not good enough, right? But then we'll go, right, we'll give Scott right 45 minutes. That's not working. We'll bring Sakala on for 45 minutes after that. That doesn't work. And we'll then put it, Arfield out. Right. But it felt as if, like, in the second half, Gio's just thrown Etten at it as if, he, he, as if he was like, it's this is it, I need to. And it was, it looked desperate. It's embarrassing. It looked quite desperate. I'm going to Lockside Hotel this Saturday, me and my missus for a wee span out away. I'm buzzing, I'm getting my ticket, mate. Mm. I don't, I, 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 it's, I'm really struggling to watch us. I tell you, I was by a couple of weeks ago, aye. but it's I don't know, man. It's just, it's, 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 aye, it's just. How long do you. Aye, we'll I know, on, man. I'll move on. Kilmarnock won Ross County now. St. Mirren 2, didn't he? <laughs> nah, Kilmarnock, man. I said that last week. I thought they beat Ross County, I'm pretty sure. Some will think a clip where I said Ross County won, probably. But I think Kilmarnock at home, they're really building up a bit of momentum at home. And then we've got Aberdeen tomorrow. <laughs> and then, I mean, they, they went to Motherwell last week. 2-1, right, two one, good result for them. Did, you, did one man score? Was Mio, Mio Vasky on the, the score sheet? Miofsky. Uh, so, Mio Vasky. <laughs> what was his name? Miofsky. Duck. D- duck. Fucking. Was that a quacker? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Christ. Ah, that's not Toe. I know. Oh, yeah, Cam Toe. Right, next. St. Marin beat Dundee United 2. What happened to your team there, Dundee United? Uh, I don't know. I can't. It says it's very up and down this season that they're having. You're buying them? Dundee United. I'm not buying them just yet. Oh. Um, but I, St. Marin as well. But they're, they're, yeah, they're, yeah, they're, playing, they're playing as well as well. <laughs> <laughs> St. Marin as well, they're, they're, playing, they're playing well as well. <laughs> when we were talking about the Hearts and Celtic game, right, so we discussed it, but I think, especially in Toll's absence, we've not got a Celtic point of view. Mm-hmm. Let's have double, up, double up and put a Hearts fan on. Uh, let's put a Hearts fan on. Man. And who better? Then uh, well, he's a Rangers fan, but we can also introduce Aye. him as a Hearts fan as well. So on the line, all the way... From is it Falkirk East? Falkirk. We have none other than the newest member to the G4 family. He's got his own podcast with G4 now as well. It is Ewan Cannon. How are you, Ewan? Uh, not too bad. Uh, the only reason I've agreed to come on to talk about Heart is because I was going. I was promised I was allowed to plug my new podcast. Uh, I, I, with just, G4 I just done it, I just done it for you there, so we can talk about Hearts now. All right. Well, well, well I can. I can also do it. <laughs> Think no, about it's like hey, oh, 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 you can't say what wait, you wait, can do. This is your on. show. We wait, tell you what you hold, can do. Right, hold on a wee second. It's a bit like Graham Norton. The only reason he gets the big names on his show is because he allows them to plug what Aye, they're there to but plug. But the, the difference right, so. with that is we couldn't get any big names, so that's why we got you on. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not like the Graham Norton show, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Aye, on, yes, mate. Yes, yes. Tell us about your new podcast. Aye, tell us a... Yeah, it's, it's you and Cat Uncut. Wait, and wait, our, we uh, swear... 
Oh, look at me and Kat. It's me, we can it's swear me and Kat. Them. We're swearing. It's, it's like when Richard and Judy went to Channel 4 and Richard had a, had a leather jacket on <laughs> to try and look cool. And Judy got a fucking brick. No, the fuck's that. <laughs> no, tell us about it, No, I'll bab you up. Alright. <laughs> I only swear. I, I only swear once on the the new podcast. Um, it's not about swearing. It's about more it's of the not. edgier stories and talking about things we're not allowed to talk about on the radio. And yeah. our first guests were were Greg Hempel, um, aka Victor from Still Game, yes. and Julie Wilson, the aka Miss Hooley from uh, Balamore. Those, those those two are a couple. It was a really good show. It's out now on all your podcast providers and also on YouTube. And a big thank you to to G Four Claims who. Uh, I've done a great job, and uh, we're all part of the same family. So, in some ways, we're connected, you and I. We we, we look cousins or something, aren't we? Aye, aye, aye. Good. By the way, I watched it last night, and it was brilliant. I was making a dinner, and it absolutely flew in. I thought it was brilliant. What was good about it was, and as you said, halfway through the podcast, it was different because it wasn't all about still game. It wasn't all about uh, Bala Pooley. Was it Bala, Bala, Mori. Bala Mori. It wasn't about that. <laughs> it was. All, it was. Uh, it was all <laughs> I mean, it's good that Julie's only. She's not just talking about Bala Hooli all day, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Rabbit on about that for a follow. <laughs> Uh, it was good to just hear about you know talk, talking about how they first met and you know a lot of people people probably don't even uh, it's know that, the, the, the story. They're, they're you know an know absolute I mean? beautiful couple. The two of them are brilliant people, man. Greg and Julie, I love them, and it's smashing Aye. guest have on you and brilliant, man. Aye, they were they, they, they were um, they were a brilliant couple, and it's, it's kind of great of hinted that there. There's a lot of stuff there that they talked about has never made the public domain about how they got married, how they met, etc., etc. How Julie was going to leave him because Greg wasn't sure about having kids and all that. So yeah, it's a brilliant insight into the couple, and they are made for each other. It's a really good laugh. So yeah, check out if you can. But I'm here to talk football and talk about the mighty Jambos who secured a brilliant half million pounds last night after victory against the pub team. Um, mm-hmm. which was a great result at Tynecastle, 2-1. And can I also point out that Hearts have had two victories in Europe in this season. How many have Rangers had? Well, well I think, we'll I think P- we spoke about this. Uh, we beat PSV uh, and we beat the other the, the Belgian team. And uh, the so USG we, or something we, we, like. We've had two as well. We've had two. What's your point, no, Carl? No, 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 no. Whoa, 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 unbeaten the record that they've ever had in their history like Napoli you're talking about Liverpool who have got Mo Salah Firmino Nunez you're talking about Ajax and you're comparing that to TNS good point <laughs> <laughs> what happened on Saturday I know you what happened on Saturday as well at one point you were winning the game I thought if they can just hang out here you must have been a bit frustrated on Saturday did, first of all, I, did you, I, did you I enjoy thought, it? I, I, I've got to say, that was the game of the season. It was. Mm-hmm. It was. Mm-hmm. I, I, I just said to Bob, I says, once the Rangers and Livingston game started, I would have rather have watched Hearts and Celtic again. It was that good. It was a cracking game. It was end-to-end. Both teams went for it. Thank God Hearts actually turned up for the first time this season in a really in a big game that really mattered because we didn't turn up against Rangers mm-hmm. when you lot pumped us 4-0 at Tynecastle. Yeah. And we didn't turn up at any of our European games up until last night against Fiorentina and against Istanbul. And I thought we turned up last Saturday. I thought we were excellent. Um, if I'm going to be brutally honest, I think Celtic shaded it and deserved the win ultimately. Mm. But I thought for a spectacle, I thought it was great. And I've got to say that fourth goal that Celtic scored, it was an outstanding game. I mean, the football we played leading up to the goal and what's Greg Taylor doing three yards out to poke that hole? Where did he come from? That's um, what I was saying earlier, mate. It's like the way Celtic, they're just so gung-ho. They just go for it. And you could tell, I think, I sensed they were going to get the You just don't goal. count them out, do no, you? No, know? you don't. And Greg nah, Taylor. Nah. Did he just come on as well, Greg Taylor? Did he start the game? He just started. No, he just come on. Aye, no, he just came, came on. on the because the boy um, who was playing full back... Aye, the Argentinian boy. Aye, the Argentinian boy. He was, he was get, uh, he was getting skinned left, right, and center. He was struggling on the right hand side, with uh, both his his left and Hart's right. Uh, Ginelli was um, having great joy against him. So, and a, and a couple of the goals came from that side as well, or which led to the penalty. But I thought Celtic edged it on the day. And if Celtic continue to play like that, if Rangers don't get rid of Geo, then hmm. I think Celtic could walk this league 12, 15, 16 points easy. I if you get rid of Geo, I couldn't and, agree more. Get, Mate, honestly, I, I've said this. I said on Twitter um, last week, if Rangers get rid of Gio mm-hmm. um, and you go to the World Cup with a new manager, treat that like a pre-season. Yeah. 
you come back and if you're still only four points behind, you've got a chance. But if Gio's still there after the World Cup, you can forget the league this year. I had a, well, mate, I totally agree. I think, I mean, you're looking at it last week before the Livingston game. Well, before Celtic played Hearts and before the Livingston game, you're going, there's two points in it. If we can somehow get to the World Cup within touching distance, no, it's four points, but you're just, there's more, there's just damage getting done <laughs> consistently every single week. I've got no confidence we'll be Aberdeen at part, uh, Ibrox. No, but listen, I hate to break it to you. I don't think it's going to happen. I think he's got too much credit in, in the bank with the board. He's made them record but amounts of money in say, one year. Mate, who, else, who else are they going to get? And I know that's a daft question because of course who else are they going to get? Well, it's their job to get somebody. That's what the board are there mate, for, to pick somebody. I, but I also don't trust that they can no, I know, I agree hire somebody I agree that's, I don't, I don't have the, the if confidence. I, if in Aberdeen beat us in Saturday... No well, I up. think we're already delaying the inevitable, Aye. just the way it is. Definitely. I think it's all be already been delayed. Who would you, you and, who would you get if you were a Rangers fan? Well, we all know you are, but who would you get? You, would you not bring back Stephen Gerrard? No, mm. no. I had a dream last night. You, you, loves, was, you, was, you love Stevie G, this, man. This dream I had last night was unbelievable, man. We were playing, I think it was Mirren or something at Ibrox, and we were getting beat 1-0, and... Gio gets sacked at half time and Gerard took the second off. And we could put him on two one. I woke up this morning, I was like, Gerard's back as manager. <laughs> Honestly, it was a, such a mental Dude, dream. He's been linked with the Beshiktis job. He's been linked with the Beshiktis job. Beshiktis. The team in Turkey. What about the boy who uh, was at Wolves and then went to Spurs and he only lasted a couple of months at Spurs? He's, he's, he's obviously sitting about doing nothing. Uh, uh, Spirito, uh, Spirito no, no, Sanchez. Uh, I don't know, mate. I, I've got a wee, I don't know. Who about Dish? Sean Dish? Sean Dyke. I, I think I would Nah, do. you don't want him. Nah, don't the, the, Rangers, the Rangers fans would not accept Sean Dyche as Rangers manager. I, I think that Gio, it's weird that you what? say that Gio's got credit in the bank. Well, let, let me remind you of something. Claudio Ranieri guided Leicester to the right. title. Six mm-hmm. months after guiding them to the title, he was sacked despite getting him into the Champions League, despite winning the Premier League, because he started off the following season really badly. Mm. Now, I don't see watching Rangers any style of play. I don't know what to expect from them. You don't know what start of living he's going to go with. There doesn't seem to be any patterns of play. There doesn't seem to be a style that you can associate with Rangers. Whereas when you see Celtic play, you know exactly what they're going to do. You Mm. know exactly how they're going to play. They go for it. They've got a gung-ho attitude, which nearly cost them the other night there when that boy missed that sitter. Mm-hmm. But you've got to actually give Celtic credit that they're a team that goes out to win games and play football. Now, yes, they've been battered a couple of times, um, but, but to be honest with you, I, th- I think they've been great this year. And Ange Postacoglu has a way of playing. Gio, after all this time, I'm still baffled as to what he's there for. Mate, he's, and been what there, he's, he's, been there, he's been there a year now, and I don't know what style of football we play. Yeah. I really don't. And no. All right. What Greg was saying about credit in the back. I mean, I know we got to the Europa League final and some of our performances last season in Europe were phenomenal. But he still inherited a team that were six points clear in the league. Seven, was, was it no seven? Six or seven. Six or seven, we either still, way. Seven. We, we lost the league. We won the Scottish Cup. But I said this last week or the week before in the podcast. Every single big game we go into, I just know we're going to get beat. Do you know what I mean? I just know we're not going to beat Celtic. Yeah. We're not going to go to the park. But we just don't get beat. It's the manner in the defeats. The manner in where we get pumped twice at Parkhead. It's it's just the manner. It's mm-hmm. like there's no... Do, do, do you know what's real? See, for a Rangers fan to mm-hmm. say that, I can't remember the last time I heard a Rangers fan say that. Probably under Kashinia, which is probably when Rangers fans were thinking mm-hmm. that they had no hope going into a game. See, not that long ago, you were going into games against Borussia Dortmund thinking mm-hmm. you can beat them. Aye. And By the way, six months ago... Where We've, regre- aye, we've, and regressed, now you're going, we've regressed aye, so much. It's, that, it's that's why he shouldn't be there. No, he shouldn't. But he? then you've also, I know we're kind of really untying the bow here, but you've got to also, you know, you've got to question Ross Wilson as well with the signings aye. that were brought in. Because you and you can yourself, you watch Celtic bring in players, they hit the ground running right away. Rangers aye. players, you're going, right, what's the correct Rangers mission? spending the amount of money they spent on uh, Redvac. So Yomaz. it's not just the manager, it's from top to bottom. Aye, it's quite it is, dark, aye, actually. It's it quite is. depressing I when, when I really think about it. somebody saying, there was a, somebody brought up a tweet for 2019 or something when Ross Wilson left Southampton and it was a thread. He broke down all the signings and I think there was only one or two success stories and one was Van Dijk. But I think like so many players mm. he brought in just 
Any day, no. any day, and you're gone. I, 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 I saw a list the other day there mm-hmm. of all the signings that Rangers have made under Ross Wilson, mm-hmm. and I've got to say, I think there was only two out of I don't know how many players that you would probably class as a as a success. Um, and when you look at Celtic and signings that they make, they would appear to pinpoint a certain player and a certain type of player that goes with what they're trying to do. And I can't think of a player that they brought in that was a huge failure. Elia Nusse, probably when he was brought in, he was a bit of a failure. He's doing okay now at Southampton. But when you look at the boys that have come in under Ange, I mean, as you say, Grado, they've hit the ground running. And they're a really good side, and they're a good side to watch. They seem to know what each other's strengths and weaknesses are. I really like watching Celtic, and that's what made for a spectacle last week. And at the moment, Rangers can't live with them. And I think that's because the Geo and also Ross Wilson. I think from top to bottom, Rangers have got a problem there. But ultimately... I think the buck stops with Geo because as a football manager, it's his job to find a system and to get the players in to do, to play his system. And he's, he's just not doing it. Right. See, just before we go, you and the you worry, how, how are you feeling about Hearts right now? I know you were never really a big Robbie Nelson fan, were you? I know that you've... Uh, no. He bottled it for Robbie in a park, Randy. Aye, you were, you know where you cut Harvey and you shot it? And he jumped behind you. Yeah, I did. I, I, bumped into, I, I bumped into Robbie Nelson a week after I was screaming on Twitter for him to be sacked, so that wasn't a very pleasant experience. <laughs> uh, no, can I, can, I, can, I, can I just say, see, see my, my opinion of Robbie Nelson would be very different today had Hearts not had the horrendous injury um, list that we've got just now. We've got so yep. many injuries. Our best defenders are no playing. Um, I would like to see Hearts. We are best team on the pitch because I think we've got a decent side. We've got a decent squad. Mm-hmm. But the injuries to Rawls, the Australian centre-back, who's going to be going to the World Cup, hopefully, and um, Halkett not playing as well. We're putting our best full-backs in at centre-back, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's just not happening for us just now. We're just so unlucky with injury. But I think that Hearts have got a really decent side. And now that we're out of Europe, got one more game to play. But I think now that we're out of Europe and we go into the World Cup, which will be good for us because then we can get the injured players back, I think we will still walk it to third place. I really do believe Uh, that. I still still think we've got the third best team in Scotland and we will Mm. finish third. And I think the experience that we've got from playing in Europe this year will hold us in... um, and, and and what's what I'm trying to look? What's the word I'm trying? Hodge in good stead. Yeah, that, I that, think. That, 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 I that's think when you look at it, it's like I did tip parts when we did th- when we started this podcast. I tipped him to finish third, and I think it's no surprise the noise are sitting seventh because it coincides with playing Thursday, Sunday, Thursday, Sunday, and it is yeah. difficult to do that. But I do agree. I think I think it'll be a very interesting match up between Hearts and Aberdeen. They finish mm-hmm. third. I think Aberdeen have got a really good squad. They're playing a good style of football now as well, and I think, but. Hearts out with the old firm <laughs> might even have a better squad than Rangers in a minute, right. to be honest. But I think but, see, but, but, you, but you see you mentioned Aberdeen there. I think I think the game at Ibrox on Saturday is gonna be massive. a really telling game. It's from massive. a Rangers perspective, but mm-hmm. also from an Aberdeen perspective to see how far they've come on. Yep. They've got they go to fancy get Oh they fancy they, they will fancy it. If they go to Aber- if they go to Ibrox and they get something from that game, that's when I'll start to worry about Aberdeen. But the moment I'm not Mm-hmm. But if they get something at Ibrox and the boost that that'll give them, then they're definitely in the running for third place. Ah, definitely. Absolutely. Definitely. It's one for the weekend. Well, you a big I'm, match. I'm not making the game on Saturday. Do you want my ticket again? He's already gone. Ah, he'll be gone anyway. He'll be gone, aren't you? Yeah. I'll, I'll, be, I'll, I'll be in the club deck, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And cheers, my man. Cheers, Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Cheers. Bye bye. Bye bye. Welcome back to the podcast. Let me tell you a bit about our sponsors, Performance Tires. Performance Tires, they supply a wide range of high quality performance tires at low, low, low prices. They've got three branches that cover the Central Belt, Annie's Land, Air and Kermunuk. And they stock all of the major tire brands. We've got Pirelli, Hankook, Avon, Yokohama, Continental, Goodyear and they specialise in Lazar tires. Lights, trucks and vans, cars, they supply all season tires, winter tires and they run flat tires for all seasons. Listen, they provide a professional tyres, fitting service. All the branches have got up to the minute fitting equipment to take care of those precious alloy wheels and they provide the highest standard of computerised wheel balancing and accurate wheel alignment. So here's a crack. If you want your tyres done, if you need your car sorted and fitted with new tyres, give them a call 0141 954 9344 or click the link in the description. 
Now let's give a shout out to the main sponsor of this pod, the daddy of them all, G4 Claims. They were here in Wishaw in the G4 Claims Empire. And G4 <laughs> Claims provide the quickest, most reliable and friendly service to anyone involved in a non-fault accident. Every G4 Claims customer is treated with the most utmost professionalism and respect. Accidents are stressful, Graham. Of course they are. Yes. So please pass the worry and hassle on to G4, and they will make it simple and easy to get you back on the road as soon as possible. Call them on 01698 767 172. That's 01698 767 172. Or you can visit them at notatfault.com. And the link, as always, is in the description. Say there. And if you fancy being a part of the show, get in touch. You could be a sponsor. A pint and two shots. Click the email link in the description and we can contact you and we can get something arranged to make you part of the team. Welcome back to the podcast, the football podcast. It is a pint and two shots live here at G4 Claim Studios. Fortunately, Toll is currently under the weather as such. Hungover. Uh, we are about to now delve into the Champions League games. I'm going to hand this section over to Bob. The only thing I caught, of course, was the, the Rangers game, and I did watch the seven-minute highlights on YouTube with regards to the big uh, controversial VAR decision at Spurs Stadium. Oh, it was ludicrous. So I don't get... Why, why did that not right, count? right. I don't know why it didn't count, because it should have counted. And this is what I was saying to Ben off air before we started the show today. This is where <laughs> VAR's ruining football, right? This is, I know you're a big advocate for it, you like it. No, you I, when it takes a piss like that, Aye. when you go, when there's no... Right, there's numerous things When here. it's a ball here and all that, I can't be... Right, it's a last minute goal. If that goal counts, Spurs have qualified for the last 16, right? They were a goal down, they were honking the first off. Had to be the young boy that scored that used to play. He's a great player, that Ed. I was talking to him a few weeks ago, remember? He's a very good player. He scored a good goal. I thought Lloris should have done better, to be fair. But then, the equalise. Mm. Or putting the pressure on. The, would Pumped. you call him? It's not the centre half of the kind of... The, the, no. Bedcourt equalised. No, but I'm saying, I think we missed quite a lot of chances. Eddie Dyer. Dyer. Mm. Right, right, so, they go one each. And this is where it's exciting. It's mm. brilliant. Harry Kane scores, the place are up, Conti's doing his best, Jose Mourinho doing the touchline. It's brilliant, right? It's a great moment. And then they get Varane and you go, what the fuck? No. He's behind the ball. He is behind the ball. How the flip can you be offside if you're mm. behind the ball? It's like when you said the other day, when we were sitting in the blue room watching that and Hearts made it free each, do you think he's offside? He can't be offside. I'm just wakey. No, but you said in the group chat. Oh, you yeah, said yeah. He's, I think he's, I think I might be offside. You can't be offside. You fucking mind the ball. You can't be. So I'm going. How's that not counted? Plus, plus they take what was it? Five minutes. They take five minutes. So if you're taking more than a minute to see an offside, aye, if it's, it's taking that long, there's no offside. Aye, you're, you can, you're really clutching at straws here. You're trying, manipulating it. Aye, and then you're going. How can that be offside? Conte then get a red card because you know he's very volatile at the best of times. He's very, but he's right. And he made a good point as well in his interview after it. He goes, see if this is one of the big teams. No, I think he's alluding to like Man City, PSG, Bayern Munich. Not a chance of getting that as offside. Not a chance. And you're going, how do they need to look that long to see it? The rules are crystal clear. If the ball's ahead of you, you're no offside. I don't understand it. Mm. It's wild, Does man. It, that, that, did you see the video of the Spurs fan? Big heavy fell, big heavy set fell. Oh, you want no, to see, see he's, a, he's a video guy and he's jumping about daft. Aye. You need to see, I don't know what you'd type in to get that. But it doesn't matter. But anyway, but he's, he's celebrating, he's celebrating aye. and they're going, why aye. is this a VAR decision? Why is this a VAR decision? In it's fact, true. if you search with the day that VAR killed football. It's Because it's such a man. big, it was such it a big moment. It's killing football, man. It, it, it's ridiculous. I mean, you're, we're talking about VAR earlier on, right? How it's like the Scottish officials' first day and all that. But that's the Champions League. Mm -hmm. They shouldn't be getting decisions like that wrong on the grandest of arenas in football. The Champions League, it's, it's terrible. I seen Eric Dyer talk to the ref after it, and it was quite funny. He's going he's not going behind the ball, blah, 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 blah. And then the guy's turning and going, he's offside. But anyway, it was a shame because it was a really good end to the game, but it was ruined by VAR. <laughs> Other selected scores in the Champions League, <laughs> we'll get to on Tuesday night. Tuesday night, we've seen probably a canny thank you a worse miss in my life than the Shakhtar boys against Celtic. I can't... But Ellis was pretty close tonight after, I'll aye, tell you. I know. Celtic won, Shakhtar the next one. 
the boy Mudrick, who I told you all about. Just wanted to say I told you so. Yeah, I told camera three, camera one. <laughs> but I scored a belter to equalise. I think through what I seen, I had a big day the next day. I didn't really watch a lot. I seen the highlights after it, and Celtic looked like they had a go at times, as they usually do. Uh, but Shakhtar should have won that with that sitter. That's well. Should have went two one up anyway. It was an absolute sitter. The player crossing it does make it a, b- a bit difficult for him, I think, no, because he can. I see somebody saying this on Twitter. I know he does, right? Somebody blamed Mudrick gone. It's a bad ball, right? But right, see, here's where I would go at. If you're that boy, right, you're running through. Where do you think Mudrick's going to put it? Mm. You're anticipating the ball coming. You've got an open goal. He's just took a horrendous touch. All right, it was a wee bit behind him. You could have took about five touches in that and tapped it in. Ah, you're you know right. I mean? But at the end of the day, a point for Selig. The route. And then you get to Wednesday night and Rangers just <sighs> done what Rangers do. Well, t- you know, I thought it was going to be a disaster after what we were 2 0 down after 15, 16 minutes. Right, it's got to be your But it, do you think it was one of the games, Bob? I'm watching it, I had very little emotion watching it. It was I like. Turned, I turned it off. Did you really? I turned it off. I turned it off just before they made it 3 0. I was just. Morelos again, a, against Dundee, against Livingston, I just. And then again, a, against. Napoli, I'm going. The, he just, we're never going to get the 2019 Alfredo Morelos back. He just, even that one the, when he's running through, and he missed it. That's he right. Super saved it. Busting it. The way he's running through, but he can't run. Yeah. Mm. It was again Napoli, like I said to you, and they're a world class outfit at the moment. They're probably the the informed team in European football. You just think if Morelos does score that one, it comes across and he misses. If he scores, you just think. They're going to go, right, let's go and get a couple of goals. They could have just turned it on. They could have turned it on. Aye, aye, you're aye. right, you're right, you're right. Aye. And Liverpool went to Ajax, won 3 0. So, we're out basically. We'd need to beat Ajax with 5 0, then, wouldn't we? Because they beat us 4 0. I sat next week, innit? Aye. Five. Mm. <laughs> when, when's the last time we scored five goals? When is the last time we scored five goals? That's a good question. Was it Motherwell for a park last season? We scored six. Possibly. Aye. We scored four at Ten Castle, didn't we? Scored four at Ten Castle. Aye. So the chances of us even scoring a goal yeah. in the Champions League, never mind. I know Arfield scored against Liverpool. We've got one goal, haven't we? I think we're on like minus 18. Aye, it's like we're not like, we're not like two goals half. If it goes like to minus, worst. aye. Aye, we're two half. Wow, man. <laughs> well, at least we'll win something. <laughs> <laughs> what I mean? Others, oh, this was a game, by the way. This was a game. Do you want to go out there? This, honestly, where is it? Atletico Madrid. Who were they playing again? They were playing Leverkusen, weren't they? Did any see that? That was drama. That was major drama. Um, right, so Atletico are out now as well, right? They were at home to Leverkusen. Right. I think Leverkusen went 1-0 no, up, Atletico equalised, and then Leverkusen went to and then Atletico equalised two each, right? right? So they got a corner in the 94th minute or something, right? Mm-hmm. The ball comes in. They see some known VAR. It was 94th minute. You can see when the ref blows the whistle, a lot of the fans actually are getting up to go because I think the game's done. Right. But he's blowing the whistle because there's a VAR decision, right? So it goes to VAR. They get a penalty. Am I right in saying if they score that, it keeps the hopes alive of staying in? Aye, they did progress, right? So right. they get a penalty in the 94th minute. The boy steps up, takes a the penalty. The keeper saves it. It comes back out to another boy. Boy, he does it. Hits the bar, comes back out. Oh, that's your clip. Was at eye and then just you're gone. That was your chance to go through, and it finished two each in Leverkusen. I think. I think yeah, yeah, so heartbreaking. Aye, Barcelona as well. Fall from grace. Get absolutely annihilated after Bayern Munich. There, Tottenham obviously Sporting Lisbon. That was one each. So they're kind of they've still got that group's wide open. I think I'm pretty sure Frankfurt. Who is it? Frankfurt and Marseille. Because Frankfurt beat Marseille, so I think Frankfurt, Napoli. Eh, Frankfurt, Spurs and Sport Lisbon can all still go through. I think it's quite the final game, so there you go, Graham. You know what I mean? That was well, there you go, that's a great round up this week. No, 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 no. We need to get to fantasy football. Oh, right, fantasy okay, football, tells. right? So as it stands, right, Ben, 51st I'm just position. Lingering around. He's lingering, he's lingering. He's on 250 points. Young Toll, Toll Meister General. Yes, he, he managed to put his team on last he's, night. He's up to 30. <laughs> Well. <laughs> hey, the, the fantasy football getting the way you always bevying. I mean, <laughs> but he's up to 30th. He's on 288 points. I had a very average week because I think, like a lot of people, I captained Haaland 
and I really, really struggled with myself because I had them out, put them back in, had them out. I put in Messi, I put in Mbappe, and I had, it was too much a hit. And I knew they were going to do something, and they did. They absolutely annihilated Maccabi Haifa. But I'm in 28th point, uh, 28th place on 294 points. And first place is Haji Neeps and Tatis. Oh, that's a great name, great Haji name. Neeps You deserve to be top, sir, with that name. You're on 400 points. That was this week's Champions League Roundup and Champions League Fantasy Football Roundup. Welcome back to the show. It's uh, Grado and Bob here covering for Toe, who's unfortunately absent. We usually play around this part of the show, we play Beat the Dafty. This time we're going to be playing What Am I Saying? What Am I Saying? What Am I Saying, okay. What am I saying? It's a game that's been played in the radio throughout the years. What's going to happen is somebody's going to be uh, wearing a set of cans, pair of headphones, loud mu- music is going to be blasted through the lugs, whilst the other person is saying names, football-related terms, names, and you have to guess what they're saying, because they obviously can't hear it. You know what I mean? Because we're going to be listening to some Because we're going to be listening to music. Is that we're well explained? Aye, aye, aye. We're going right. to be listening to some banging tunes selected by Jamie. What is it we're listening to? Just some what? Just some, some hard style, style shit. That's what he <laughs> said. Some hard style <laughs> shit. There that. you go. What am I listening to, Ben? Just some hard style <laughs> shit, bro. <laughs> so, and basically, you, you're going to have to try and read the lips because you're not going to be able to aye, hear. Aye, aye. Okay, okay, cookies. So, we'll toss a coin. Have we got a coin? Told you we'll get the coins, any? My game of rock, paper, scissors. Aye, okay. Right. Just one, one game. I just. Right, rock, paper, scissors, shoot, right? Right. right. Rock, One, two, paper, scissors, three. shoot. Are you waiting? No, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. What's shoot? Right, okay. Right. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. Rock, paper, paper scissors, scissors, shoot. You won. I won. Do you want to go first or second? Aye, so I'll read them at you with the headphones. All right. The laptop's closer anyway. I'm going to listen to some, what is it? Some hard, hard style, style shit. shit. Right. right. I need to see your lip spot. Aye, right. I sat. Right, right, okay. Yeah. Right, hold on. And so, has he got a minute? Yeah, yeah. we've got... No, just we've got ten. Right, so okay. Hold on, hold on. I need to right. press this. Free from hear, desire. And you can't hear us, Bob? No, you can't hear us right now, Bob? Hold no. on. Have we started? No, I'll, I'll tell you when I... I'll go like this with my horn. Right, okay. When it started, right? right. <clears throat> okay, so here we go. And, Bob, your time starts... Tim Sherwood. Tim, Tim Sherwood. Harry Styles. Tim Sherwood. Tim Sherwood. Halftime pie. Half time pie. Half time pie. African Park. <laughs> Half time pie. Amoroso. Half time pie. Pass. Two guy Keremoglu. Nakamura. Two guy Keremoglu. <laughs> Two guy Keremoglu. <laughs> You're outside. Two guy Keremoglu. Pass. Arbroath. Arthur Boric. Arbroath. Arthur Boric. Arbroath. I'm bored now. Arbroath. Ah, uh, pass. <laughs> Killian Sheridan. Killian Sheridan. <laughs> Killian Sheridan. Big Shirley. <laughs> pass. Kelly. George Foreman Grill. What? George Foreman Grill. George Foreman Grill. Josh McGill. <laughs> George Foreman Grill. What? George Foreman Grill. Pass. Tam Cowan. Tam Cowan. Harry Redknapp. Brian Lodger. Harry Redknapp. I've just read it. <laughs> Harry Redknapp. Harry Redknapp. Gabriel Batistuta. Gabriel Batistuta. Raymond Montgomery. Colin Montgomery. <laughs> Close. Raymond Montgomery. Raymond Montgomery. Hey, Yay! You done well. Mate, you done well with that. <laughs> can, I, can I just say, can I just say, man, <laughs> playing that game, man, I've just noticed, can you get lovely lips? <laughs> It's my missus Durham, she's got love for us. <laughs> AP Aesthetics by Stephanie, follow her on Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> I can hear you a wee bit. Can you? Hi. I've got really good hearing, man. <laughs> Is that the loudest it can go? <laughs> hey, I sound louder. Right. Can you hear me now? A wee bit, aye. Can you? Aye. Right, take it then. Right, take it then. 442. Four, Four four two. Four four two. Four four two. Crossbar. Douglas Park. <laughs> Crossbar. Du- Keep saying that. Crossbar. Crossbar. George Bar. <laughs> Fox Bar. Crossbar. Todd's Bar. <laughs> Pass. Lubo Moravchik. I can't see your mouth. Lubo Moravchik. Lubo Moravchik. Offside. Offside. 
Real Madrid. Real Madrid. The Buffs. The Buffs. <laughs> Pro Evolution Soccer. Pro Evolution Soccer. Pro. The Blue Order. <laughs> Pro Evolution Soccer. Keep going. Pro Evolution Soccer. Pro Evolution Soccer. Predator Boots. Pitting two shots. <laughs> Predator Boots. Piss in the bush. Piss in the bush. <laughs> Predator Boots. Predator Boots. Big Tits Moose. <laughs> Pass. Jerry Pellini. Jerry. Champions League. Jerry Pellini. Jerry. Shirley McNeid, no. <laughs> Jerry Pellini. Jerry McNee. Jerry, Jerry McNee. Jerry Pellini. Central Pellini. <laughs> Jerry Pellini. Jerry Pellini. Jerry Pellini. Yes! Super Ali. Super Ali. Super Ali. Super Ali. Yay! Yay. I don't know either. Right? Big tits bush. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I don't know either. Put your cans on. <laughs> Put my cans on. Oh, you're a <laughs> <laughs> you're a <laughs> <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, it's oh, funny, man. Did you just keep a note who, aye, who won? Aye, who bet, won I think you've won, mate. I think Grado's won. I thought I'd well. That's good, man. What's one I didn't know? 4-4-2. Right, so that was this week's first edition of What Am I Saying? Aye, and who won that then? Aye, ben, right, ben, what was your score? Four. I get four out of ten. Now you're talking. Ten. He's got very good hearing, he said. You heard it here first. But that was a good laugh. That was good, good one, Tap. Well, we need to have a toll next week, then, <laughs> we need to do it. <laughs> Big tits, mush, push. Fuck, <laughs> Jesus. That was this week's What Am I Saying? Right, welcome back to the show without toll. Right. <laughs> Let's have a look at this week's upcoming fixtures, which I do not give a toss about. So I'm going to a spa this weekend, guys, right? you got to lock side when I'm getting lock married side, to Lock side, house hotel. I'm just going to be Recky for Grado's wedding. And that. <laughs> yeah, go on there, man. So, Saturday, three o'clock, your team, Grado. I think Dundee United versus Motherwell. Well, I think Motherwell are going to win that. Do you? I was going to say the opposite. Oh, the G4 Derby, that's right, G4 the two sponsors. G4 Derby. Is, is, is G4 got a squad going? No. Have you, but? Have you? What's the point of sponsoring them if he's not going to games? See, because it's G4 Derby, I'm going to say it's going to be a share of the spoils and it's going to be 2-2. Two, two. Aye, I'll say that as well. 2-2. Two, two. Hibs right. versus St Mirren. Hibs win. Did St Mirren not beat Hibs a couple of weeks ago? I think. In Paisley? No? Am I getting that wrong? Maybe. Is that not the game where Fingway Lee Johnson was giving it our team rubbish? And no, somebody shout it. Oh, Your aye. team's yeah. Aye. 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 I'm going to go with a respect to I'm going to go for another draw there. No draw. <sighs> Rangers yeah. versus Aberdeen, by the way. I don't think it could be anything. It could be Aberdeen win. It could be a draw. Or, or it could be a Rangers win. It could be... <laughs> it could be 5-1 to the Rangers or 2-0 to Aberdeen. Yep. It's, one, it's going to be one of the days, I think. I'm still waiting on a reaction coming through our players, right? Yeah. But uh, you just don't know. It's going to be a tough, tough game, and I wouldn't be surprised if we don't make points. And it's the catalyst for action to be taken. Mm. I wouldn't be surprised, but I'm going to steer clear of a prediction for that one. Okay, I'm going to go. I'm going to say Rangers are going to win it. Right. So Johnson at home to Kelly, as strong as Kelly have been, I've been kind of championing them a wee bit. It's their home form. I think mm. that's the kind of game that St. Johnson could match up against them and play them at their own game, if you know what I mean. Right. I'm going to go with a St. Johnson victory there. And then on the Sunday, we've got Livingston versus Celtic. Hmm. There's history there, they love you always getting results, but off the back, you're getting a point at Ibrox. I wouldn't be surprised Celtic go out and smash them. Mm-hmm. You know I mean? but and then Ross County versus Hearts. Always a hard, it's a hard place to go for teams to go up to Ross County. What we said to you and earlier, coming off the back of a game the Thursday, then playing the Sunday, I might go with a draw there. Aye. Well, you can, aye. I would oh, go with could, a draw as well. You could go with a draw, you could go with a Ross County victory or a heart victory. <laughs> you know, you could, I mean, there's plenty of options there for you to go with, you know, but I'm going to go with a draw. Yeah. Either way, I mean, it's uh, the VAR's now very well, truly in swing. Uh, very interesting to see how it gets on this weekend. It's the second week. Hopefully they can speed up the process and everybody's getting peed off for the waiting times, etc. Et <laughs> it's et not a hospital. <laughs> <laughs> it's like <waiting> any. <laughs> Well, that's I know what you mean. Do you know what I mean? I know, I know. But there we have it. That is this weekend's fixtures. Enjoy your football, guys. I'm staying clear right this weekend. Aye. So, we're just about to head. 
Graham, it's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure, Bob. Nice to see you again. Um, hopefully, Toll will be back fully fit next week. Oh, uh, he's half booze, man. Okay, man. Hashtag pray for toll. Pray for toll, man. Can Hashtag just, pray for toll. Can you see him, man? Sam, I'm just going to for a wee pint this afternoon. Get a week off work, man. A wee pint. And the wee boozers in Coke Ridge and all that. <laughs> Coming back, man, sitting, starting, sitting there on his gunny. I shouldn't have drank, man. <laughs> My shingles are filling up. <laughs> did you see the video we put in the group chat the other day? No. Somebody walking around his back. No. Sure, the night, did you see that? Somebody walked around his back. Right, <laughs> we're done, what was he doing? He just said he checked the swing doorbell and I just said, Matt Random, I walked in the side of his house. See, folk did that to him, didn't they? They always Aye. got him pestering him. They played <laughs> Chappie doing it, but his way and all that, didn't they? They're just like, let's go and noise up Toll. Let's go and Chappie's door and run away and all that. Some mad Because he knows they're going to, he gets a chase. He's Aye. a good chase. <laughs> Toll's a good chase. Some mad guy just walking about. <laughs> Came out by the pubs and got bridge, man. I'm going to go get in the wee Toll's bar. <laughs> Which was the guy sitting at two or three in the morning in the in kitchens and all that. Why go and do Toll's girl? <laughs> One, I see you got chased after all. <laughs> Walking back to the boozer, nah, he must be in his bed. <laughs> He's in his bed. <laughs> Can I chase after all? <laughs> no, the right barrier of the shingles. <laughs> but anyway, uh, anyway, hopefully he's back next week and we have a full compliment for you. Uh, but... I'm going to go up the road now and I'm going to get my case my case packed. I'm not going abroad, but I'm going to get my bag packed. Lost sides him. Oh, boy, man. Good I'm on you. You just going for the one night? Going for the one night. We're going to do in the afternoon. Get a few beers, get by the garden rooms. A few beers. Then we've got treatments booked for half past five. Mm-hmm. Knee back massage and all that. Dinner's booked for <laughs> half eight. Massaging your back, man. It's no, scary I, as hell. I wouldn't go down there. I'd, I'd be clean shaven, man. I wouldn't go You're down there. You're getting your back shaved? I can't shave my back off. Oh, has, right, we do, when we do part when I start getting changed, he's like, Bleh. it's rotten, man. A wee guy can be serious, actually. I'm I mean, it's very like, maybe a big fat old hardy guy, but no, just a. And the just looks weird on a wee guy, man. He's got pure smooth skin, Aye. man. He has. It's pure smooth. Have you got great skin? Part of the pluck, my chest. Aye, he's got lovely uh, skin, man. But no, so go down there, back massage. I'll have my back cleanly shaved, and I'll get a back massage. Half past five. After that, well, we'll go do it at the spa at three, spend a wee bit of time messing about, get the treatments done. After that, up to yeah, we don't need the full thing night in there. No, but I'm just telling you. <laughs> and then, it. while I'm getting my back done, I might have a game on my phone. Mm. You know what I mean? Then, <laughs> go up the road, change, then down to the restaurant, man. And I'm just going to sit there, I'm going to eat my dinner, I'm going to go, just think, man, the big guys get married in here soon. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? I thought you were going to say the big man's away at a celebrity dance. <laughs> 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 well, you're throwing arrows, I'm getting my back done. <laughs> No, oh, I, no, that's a Friday. You're aye, not tomorrow, right? I'm aye. in Aberdeen tomorrow night. I'm wrestling a guy, eighteen year old. He's gonna <laughs> run me. You're gonna be. You're gonna be like told trying to chase a folk at Chappie's door, man. <laughs> <laughs> I can just see what is he. He's feel like he's going to all the and you're leaning into him. We man, calm down. <laughs> I'm blowing up my hip here, man. <laughs> it's <gonna> be- <laughs> Yeah. Man, come to that. It's like when you go to play fives, man, and you get a bit older and you're playing football against you uh, guys. You guys are like, man, what? Suplexing the shit, you know that? But what I say when I'm wrestling younger guys, not that I thought, man, I always go, look after me out there. Look <laughs> <laughs> you know okay. after me out there. It's like when I was younger and used to do panel with Dean Park. Look after me out there, man. <laughs> Graham Park. Oh, Graham Park. Graham Park. Oh, well, Dean Steveley. Dean Steveley, man. No, but mate, 18 year old, man. Good luck to you. Mm, guy called Ronan, so he's been cut. He's been shouting all the odds on Twitter and stuff like that, so. Ronan. <sighs> Sold it. I'm on camera three. Mm. Ronan. And if you can hear me, the champ's coming for you. The champ's yeah. coming for you. Aye. You and all, camera. Aberdeen, the morning night. Bring it on. By the way, Gradle Hats, there's only about eight left. £15 a hat. There you go. Uh, I've got 40s for £5. Name of dolls left. I've got kids' t shirts as well. I'll probably get any kids' t shirts, man. Probably get them done about 17 99 tomorrow night in Aberdeen. Okay, cookies. Have a good weekend, troops. Take care.